Now, here's a question. Does beer cause beer bellies? One of the world's largest brewers, Anheuser Busch, is arguing the point with the author of one of the most sought after diet books at the moment, The South Beach Diet. Anheuser Busch, whose most famous brand is, of course, Budweiser, has taken exception to the claim in the book that beer makes you fat. One of America's most glamorous tourist destinations. The Art Deco streetscapes, the pavement cafes. But lately, along with the frantic party scene, a new diet book has them flocking here. Annoying somewhat, the country's largest brewer. In the South Beach diet, beer is, uh, let's call it demonized, because the, the, the author claims that it's high in sugar. And in a low carbohydrate diet, sugar, of course, is, is uh, something that, that uh, dieters avoid. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that beer does not contain sugar, does not contain maltose, and we just want to set the record straight. The fact is... So the company is advertising even more aggressively than usual, saying confidently that you can diet, lose weight, and enjoy beer with a clear conscience. That sparked an intensifying row between an assertive brewer and the local cardiologist who came up with the South Beach diet. To him, the facts are plain. There is maltose in beer. Uh, and basically, you know, I, I thought when I was in college, beer was a health food also, like them. But in 30 years of, of medical practice, as well as reviewing the literature we, we reviewed, which is it's actually over 130 references, uh, beer is definitely fattening. Down at a local pub, some fairly typical beer drinkers think it's all a lot of hype and no hot air. It's uh, oxymoron. It, there's no such thing. You want to diet, you diet. You don't drink beer, you don't. You, you watch your carbs, your intake, and everything else. They've been selling me beer for years. <laughs> but he also has a vested interest in selling his book and trying to get you to go on his diet. Diets are hugely popular in America and increasingly Europe. After all, on a day like today, who wouldn't want to look good in their bathing suit? And of course, in the end, it's just all about marketing. Beer trying to shed its reputation as a drink that's unfriendly to those wanting to lose some weight. And the South Beach diet trying to maintain the wide appeal that made it so popular in the first place. Daniel Lack, BBC News, Miami Beach.